Hello, wonderful masculine and feminine. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We had a great, great, great week, aren't we? We did really well this week. A lot of energy, a lot of um, movement, uh, time speeding up. I hope you're all feeling it. Um, you know, we're always almost at the time that we're going into the dark season again. So the, the, the days are going to not to linger, but getting shorter again after the 21st. So we're going to the other end. Wow. And if it's going that fast as this year, this, this last half year. Wow, we're in for a ride, guys. Um, there are really amazing energies coming through. Uh, we leaving ancestral um, karma be behind us. We're clearing that out. Um, and we do it not for ourselves. We do it for the future generation. So their journey could be more easier than our journey was. You know, we all do the best that we can. But if we are aware that we can change our future and the future for our children, um, then, you know, I think as a parent, you would do anything for them. You know, at least I am. Um, just clearing out your own shit. That's, that's, that's uh, probably the best thing I can say, you know. If you're clearing out your own shit, you're clearing it out for uh, the generations to come. So, yeah, let's see what's in the Divine Masculine's mind space. Fertility. Also, his cycle's ending, you know. Uh, and it's all coming from the heart space. It's the, the cycle from the mind that is releasing. We're going from the ego, the ego-minded uh, area of the masculine, and he is very aware of it, to the heart space. And uh, when he's going through the heart space, uh, it's time for the masculine uh, maybe to heal his heart from uh, past hurts. That's what I hear. You know, there's a new cycle starting and it's the fertility, new beginnings. And when we're going into this uh, portal, the second portal for the twin flames to arrive, new love will come in. You know, it could be that, uh, you know, the divine masculine already found his beloved and uh, is still thinking about it, you know. It has, it, it's, it's a like, mm, shall I do it? Um, maybe I don't know if I could do it because there's still so much hurt in my heart. You know, there is so much from the past um, that, um, that, that I don't, don't want to repeat. You know, I'm better on my own then I'm repeating the past. So I, I'm working on myself to uh, heal everything. And the fertility is also the divine feminine. She is holding that space for the masculine. She is holding that space for him. You know, uh, if you need time, uh, I will give you time. If you... Um, need anything from me you know if you just want to have fun you know i'll be there for you you know if you want to talk i'll be there for you and till you till you are uh, ready you know to take that leap a leap of faith with me you know then um then 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 come and and i'm here for you you know so the Divine Feminine is holding space for the Divine Masculine. And uh, last week the Masculine was holding space for the Divine Feminine. So there is a lot going on here. Um, 
in the masculine and he is really anchored he is really he is really grounded like a tree you know he's a lot in nature he is uh grounded like a tree that's what i hear his roots are really um deep in the earth but he's getting out of his ego into his heart space and in this heart space uh, he's meeting the divine feminine within but also the divine feminine outside himself and what is getting triggered you know what is is i also hear the divine masculine had a, a, a range of um, women behind him um, that couldn't treat him the way he deserved no that's it you know there, there were also women in his life that did, didn't treat him right and the divine feminine is seeing that you know she is um, in this space of uh, supporting the the masculine so let's see how he see, how he sees the divine feminine um, that she's aware that she's aware of almost everything that she's aware of um, of what's going on in in the realm in the in the spiritual world that she's aware what's going on in this this uh, world that she's awake um, she is the magician that uh, she can do everything um, she manifests everything that she wants and she is this magician she can you know it's it's like he sees her with this magic wand and everything will come her way and uh, he sees that about her and uh, and he he really admires her for this you know um, that she is really connected that she is um, I also hear that she is connected with the shamans with the ancestors with um, with with the ancient knowledge um, and that's what he sees you know this is how he sees the divine feminine like well she's really manifesting she is seeing things she is uh, her third eye her crown chakra is open she's connected to the the higher realms um and there is um there is also a reason because we had the six six portal and we had the solar portal solar eclipse so i want to tell something about that because most of the time i do um uh, a transmission the six six portal transmission i didn't do the solar portal eclipse i didn't do because i needed to go within i needed to rejuvenate i needed to be in my own space and upgrading everything that was around me i had to transmute so that is a little bit of an update why uh, you know some of you ask me uh, send me emails why why is your uh, 66 portal not there you know that's that's why some messages came in okay so what is his higher self saying what is his higher self saying about the connection with the divine feminine i know what his higher self is saying <laughs> You know, you need to take the lead. You know, she's waiting for you. Step into your authority. Step in your masculine energy and, and go for her. If you want her, go for her. You know, um, it's time. Now the eclipse, the Beltane is behind. So we know we're not driven on just that lust energy. You know, it's still going on, but we're, we're already shifting into, um, into another paradigm now. So um, the 21st, we're releasing uh, the faces of Beltane. So it's time for you to step up. And if you want her, you get her. 
you know, uh, I, I hear also um, there are too many masculines around her, you know, who has her has the eye on her. And um, and on the other side, I hear, you know, you don't need to be afraid because she already shields herself for uh, certain masculine energies um, not to interfere into her life because she knows where she is drawn to. She knows who is in her life. She knows where she wants to go and she's holding that space for the Divine Masculine. So the Divine Masculine is now, you know, step up and, and go for it and take the lead and take your authority back, you know, um, in, in, that, in that grounded masculine energy. It's, it's, and I also hear um, he just don't want a normal person. He can't deal with just a normal person. This, this person needs to have everything. And um, this, this, this is what, what he wants. And he is still, you know, standing, waiting. And, you know, it's almost like, uh, let's see if I, uh, if I can trigger her on some points. Let's see how she reacts on some points. And, um, you know, and, and see where she's coming from. He is, it it's almost seems like he's a bit, bit of testing her. And, um, wow, <laughs> his, his higher self said, yep, <laughs> yep, you know, he's, he's really fooling around. He's really kidding you and uh, seeing what, where you're coming from. He haven't seen all, um, all the faces of the Divine Feminine. That's why. He haven't seen all her faces yet. He sees a few of her faces. He knows there's more behind, you know, her eyes. And, there, and, and he is waiting for that. He is waiting for that to come out. But for now, he's still uh, standing, holding his ground, you know, is still there, you know. Taking authority. It's... it's uh, it's the Divine Masculine energy. It's really the Divine Masculine energy he's embodying. You know, he is charming. He is loving. Um, he is very nice to all women around him. Um, but I hear only, there's only one in his heart. There's only space for one in his heart. Not for any other women. You know, he is done with the drama. He's done with the drama. Okay, what is, is in his heart space? What is in his heart space? What is in his heart space? What is in his heart space? Come on. He's also very quiet at the moment. Very quiet, I hear. He is matching the energy of the Divine Feminine and he doesn't know it. He sees a lot of similarities within them both. Um, the recognition and the reward. He is being recognized. His soul is being recognized. And he will be rewarded for the work he's doing. You know, he is uh, recognized by the Divine Feminine. He is recognized by Spirit. And he is recognized... Oh my gosh, uh, I only missed the two in the cards here. I have here the three. I have th two threes already. So he's already been seen and recognized by uh, the spiritual realm, but also by the Divine Feminine. And... Um, he is taking his work and his spiritual work uh, more seriously now. He don't want to, to, to go to that uh, spiritual realm. But it's the only way to upload his... Um, here. 
it's the only way to upload his um, his battery. So emotional withdrawing. That's what's coming up. That's what he uh, wants from her. And that's what he sees from her. That she is emotional uh, withdrawing. That she's going within. That uh, he is uh, doing the same at the same time. Because his energy is, is, is tired. He did a lot of work. He gave a lot of energy. He probably uh, felt all the energies... Um, around him the last uh, couple of weeks that really got him um, uh, drained it's yeah drained i hear it's really drained i i feel like he's leaking his energy and at the other way he needs to upgrade his energy also you know uh, get that battery full um, i also feel he's in a very joyful state you know, he is, uh, when he meets, when he sees her, you know, uh, I, I see this energy coming up with a lot of fun, with a lot of uh, joy, a uh, lot of humor, uh, you know, and, and that, that is really get them going. They're, they're really on that same level. But uh, I also see like the divine feminine, the feminine is withdrawing. Now also the divine masculine is withdrawing. Because they have the same um, connection with energies. Okay. Emotional withdrawal. If your divine masculine uh, is withdrawing, you know, and, and you're not in separation and you're living together... You know, give him space, give him time to work through his own emotions. Um, it could be that he is not saying anything. So the the thing you could could uh, ask him, you know, uh, just tell me that you're going through some stuff and that you need time and space for yourself. Just don't close me out totally. Just tell me. You know, I need time, I need space, and that's what I, I need to do, you know. And, uh, and most of the masculines haven't learned this, you know, because they feel when the, the feminine asks, is, is anything wrong, you know, uh, it's, the, it's the mother voice that comes up. It's the mother voice that says, okay... You know, you're you're doing something wrong. What's going on with you? Are you okay? Uh, you know, and you're you're smothering them. So, you know, take take some 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 heat back and and let it all go and let it all flow and 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 be be in that in that space that you can ground yourself. Um I read a very, very good book um, from uh, Miguel Diaz, and he said, L you know, be as a dog, be as a dog, and <laughs> it sounds really harsh, right? So if you're a boss, if, 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 if the boss of the dog comes home, you know, the dog is with, with, um, wiggling his tail and is happy and wants to play, but if you're, uh, if you're, boss isn't happy you know the dog doesn't think okay my boss don't want to play with me there's something wrong i did something wrong no just give it space and 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 take your toy and 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 enjoy yourself so that's that's i when i read it i i needed to laugh so hard but it's it's really true because we uh, think it's always something we did you know and not that the divine masculine is going through some uh, emotions and that he needs to work out and without nagging at his head you know let him go and and let him go in his cave you know sometimes there are things that needs to be worked out and that need space 
you know, and, and give him that time uh, to go in the space and, and into that cave. You know, if you text him and you don't get any response, you know, don't think that it's something about you. Uh, it's more about the divine masculine that he, you know, it's not, it's nothing about you. It's, or he didn't read your message or he will later, or he is in an emotional withdrawal. You know, there are much more things going on than just um, thinking that, that it has to do with us, you know. Take back your self-worth and know um, who you are. Don't, so, so don't text him a second time or a third time or fourth time. You know, if he doesn't respond, he doesn't respond and he doesn't want to respond. Okay. What does he want from the Divine Feminine? What does he want from the Divine Feminine? Oh my God. If I, I'm in connection with his higher self and it makes me laugh. Don't sacrifice yourself. That's what he wants. Don't ever, ever sacrifice yourself. That's what he wants from you. Don't sacrifice your time. Don't sacrifice your energy. Don't let anybody get you down in that space again. You suffered enough. You did enough. You gave enough. It was not your doing. Don't go in there and don't sacrifice yourself again. That's what the Divine Masculine says to the Divine Feminine. That's what he wants from her. He wants from her <coughs> to be light, to be happy, to be joyful, to play around, to be her Divine Feminine, be in her sexiness, you know, and get out of the drag get out of the oh my god get out of the horse shit <laughs> get out of that shit you know that really dragged you down you know that's not where you belong you belong in that happy space in 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 the beautiful light-hearted um humorous space full of joy and and, and connection so let yourself be seen and that's what the divine that's what he wants from her you know that's what he says you know don't you ever sacrifice yourself again don't you ever do think that you are beneath everything what you thought don't go to that place you know the divine masculine says you can look at this shit and you can look at that pain and you can uh, look at back at it and when you look back at the time that you suffered and it was painful enough you won't get back if you didn't suffer enough you will go back for a second round for a third round for a fourth round you will go back and back and back and back and you will get slammed and dragged into the shithole that you came out of so let it go don't ever sacrifice yourself again so that's what he wants from her that's the divine masculine that's the, the the that's the protective masculine energy he don't want her you know he he sees her and he knows that she's too good to be treated like shit and he he shows her he shows her, you know, you're more worthy than, than what happened here. So uh, be your joyful self, do the things you want to do and never ever sacrifice yourself for, a, for nobody. Not for a divine masculine, not for a divine feminine, not for anyone. You need to stay true to yourself. Okay, wow. 
Wow, thank you. That's the higher self of the Divine Masculine talking here. You know, that's the collective. And then we speak about a Divine Masculine, not about a distorted Masculine. You know? Just I don't, I don't want to say a distorted masculine it seems really harsh, right? But it's the wounded masculine, yeah. you know, that, that, um, that gets you in that space of sacrificing, of helping, of be, want to be there for him, you know? Uh, get out there and look for a man that can hold his own space and can stand on his both two feet and be alone you know if if i see that a man can be alone and be on him his on his self for more than been, more than three years you know he is welcome in my life because i know that he has to deal with all his shit and um you know and and what 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 happened with the divine feminine this, this is weird I'm saying a lot of shit in this in this video, so it's it's probably some <laughs> some energy here because most of the time it I don't I don't talk like shit. <laughs> it really makes me laugh. <laughs> it really makes me laugh. Okay, how does he see the relationship with the divine feminine? Victory and success, a new beginning, new beginning. And he actually, he wants to shout it from the highest uh, top, but uh, he's not sure. He's not sure of her if she is really wanting to do this. Uh -huh, okay, because uh, he just seeing just what i said before he's he's only seeing uh two small aspects of her and um and he sees her sweetness and her goodness and he sees her sun and he sees her shine and um he wants to know you know and and he probably uh feels into it that he can deal with her it's easier, it's, it's a piece of cake I hear. She's a piece of cake, you know, she's easy. She's not another, another hard deal to, to work with. She's very easy. It's, it's, it's uh, when you're not in alignment, when things go sour, you know, when, when you don't e understand each other, when, there are two different voices, uh, two different languages. That's that's probably what I need to say. So he wants he is victory, and he is uh, sees victory and success with her. Okay, how will he solve? What is um, what is uh, his um, uncomfortabilities in this uh, in this area, and how can he deal with that? You know, it could be that there is an uncomfortability or there is a block that is uh, um, you know holding him back for for making a step forward, or uh, could be that there is self sabotage to to get through that victory and success with her. So let's see. Wow. Love begins. So that's what is blocking him. You know, it could be that uh, the love for him, th th that's the self-sabotage I hear. You know, uh, love begins and it's, it's starting and it's starting to uh, really get him uncomfortable. And in that uncomfortability, it could be that he is running or that there is uh, something else that is going on in his life that he don't want to um, uh, let go of. And it could be that he is already feeling that, that this love is flowing and it's flowing into the river and it has to find its way. So when it's finding its way, 
you know, um, and it will fertilize the, the earth and the ground, you know, then everything will flow. But that could uh, also uh, blocking him to move forward because it could be um, what, what I already got channeled. Uh, it could be uh, a self-sabotage thing. That will say, you know, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm into her and I really want to start this thing and I want to have this victory and success with her. But where will, will where <clears throat> will it end? You know, is, is there, I don't want to get hurt anymore. That's what I hear him say. I don't want to get hurt anymore. I'm done with all the, the hurt. I'm done with all the women. I'm done with everything. And, um, you know, just seeing her uh, in her power and not sacrificing herself anymore for anyone, then, then the love starts to begin. He, he starts to realize um, what what there is and, and uh, what... Probably, if you're in separation, what he lost. Um, okay, how will he solve it? Material and spiritual prosperity. You know, he knows that there is uh, prosperity with her. Uh, and he's not keen on it. You know, he can... Uh, he is having his own... Um, uh, his own work, his own things, he can manage himself, he's not materialistic, his energy is going into spirituality, his, um, probably also a lot of his money is invested in there, you know, he doesn't care about uh, uh, material things, he just wants to be happy, he just wants to be joyful, do his thing, And but he knows when they are together, all of it is here. All of it is there, you know, because there is spiritual growth. There is a spiritual abundance. There is a, a huge connection there. Okay. So. Where is his focus at at the moment? Where is his focus at? Where is his focus at? Ooh, temptation. His focus is at temptation. So it could be that there is sexual attraction, that uh, there is uh, <coughs> the dark side coming up, you know, it's uh, lust, it's um, um, lusting, after, after after someone or want to feel that energy and uh, we just came out of dark moon so it's I, I I I can feel and relate to that what when I when I think back you know of the dark moon time that there is the temptation that there is this lust that there is uh, all these arousements coming up but also the dark side uh, and the shadow side of the Divine Masculine is coming up uh, during this time. And uh, not seeing the light, you know, and not be able to look to better days. And just seeing the darkness and just seeing, you know, what was. what was, And, and, and not seeing that, that light um, in, in, that, in that environment and that he needs to transform. You know, it could be that there are lower energies uh, pulling, uh, pulling at him, and um, you know, it's 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 the devil energy. It could be Capricorn energy. You know, that is taking over. Um, it could be uh, materialism. Could be anything. You know, that he starts to think, I want more in my life. I want to have more money. I want to have more this. I want to have more that. And, and the Divine Feminine don't, don't give a shit, you know, she, she just, don't, just don't give a shit. She's, she's thinking, you know, I can manage my own, own, uh, my own things. You don't need to earn such mo so much money for me, you know. But it's the masculines 
uh, 3D mentality that he needs to let go of, that uh, it's connected to, uh, his identity is connected to his work, is connected to money. So uh, he really needs to release this, okay? So that's coming up, that was coming up uh, for uh, where his focus is at, uh, at the moment. So he really wants, uh, you know, the temptation. And you really, if you look at it, you really see the darkness, you know, grabbing him, you know, getting sucked back in. Into, uh, into that space, you know, is, and the bottom of the card is harmony and love, the twin flame card. So if that's, that's what he originally wants, and then when the dark moon comes in, you know, all this dark shit comes up. Oh my God. Again, this world of shit. So... Just someone in my surroundings that used that word probably a lot. It's probably, yeah, it's probably my uh, dark moon that's coming up with uh, all of it. Okay, here he wants where the relation goes. You know, this is um, balance. He wants the balance in the relationship. He wants the support of her. He wants to support her. He wants to be there for him, for herself, but also standing in his own ground. It's like, you know, I want to be in this energy. I want to stand here. I want to stand next to you, but I want to be in my own space. Um, the Divine Feminine has exactly the same thing. That's why we have the two here next to each other. You know, the balance. Uh, it's it's not uh, the the union where we are heading to is not the relationship that they will be living together or you know uh, being in one house together. I don't see that because that's the divine feminine honors her uh, freedom too much, honors her um, status too much. <laughs> that's she sacrificed too much in in in. A, in a living relationship, so she will never, uh, you know, I don't want to say never, but a lot of Divine Feminine uh, need their space and, and need to do the things on her own. And they will uh, come together in, in balance. And that's the same for the Divine Masculine, I feel, you know, he needs his own space. He needs his own um, uh, environment to be in, to... Um, to, that you're able, that you're able to um, withdraw yourself, you know, in your safe space. You you really need that, because um, when the divine feminine and masculine come together as um, as twins, you know, it's very intense. It's very intense. And uh, when when they connect on an on a on an intimate level, you know they probably need need after afterwards they need some space, you know, to think, oh my gosh, what 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 is happening here? And then they start to realize, uh, you know, they can't go around it because love begins. Love is there already. It's it's already there. You know, and they need the balance. That's that's how he wants the relationship to go. How does he feel about the union with the Divine Feminine? You know, all elements need to be there. You know, uh, you know that all the all the elements need to be in that person uh, to have to have balance in your life. Otherwise, if only one element is missing in your life you know then you're out of balance you need to have the self-love you need to have the communication skills you need to have the grounding and you need to have the spirituality and you need to have the fire you know the the passion when one of these elements are missing if you know for instance you know you can be very loving and you can be very 
but if it's uh, if if you're sexual not um, uh, in in able to create the tension when you're not able to create that fire you know you, you can back, go back to sleep sorry sorry for the women that are looking that don't have that sexual uh, energy around uh, her but that needs uh, that, that that then it needs healing there a, a re real huge wound clearing and uh, needs to come out of that you know what combines them they have memories of love they uh, look back to the memories they create to the little points of light of the little things that they need and that is fun and that there is uh, loving energy and he is thinking about that and uh, she is thinking about it so that's combining them both and they see it as little uh, little light points of the day you know it could be that they meet randomly and um, or uh, when they when they come together and reminiscing about uh, the past uh, you know if they if they are connected with each other by you know maybe an email or maybe calling each other you know then they could share these memories of love together and and that really gives them um, the energy to move forward you know wow what brings them together wow again love so wherever it means this is going to happen this will bring them together. Love will bring them together. Union will bring them together. In harmony will bring them together. The love will bring them together, you know? And if everything is balanced, it will bring them together because it's the, it's the twin flame union card. You know, this, this, this is, um, this is faded. This is faded. You, you can't go around it because it's it, the love is already started. You know, they understand each other. They uh, see each other for who they are. There is uh, what what you see is what you get. That's that's how they think about it. You know, there's no there's no other way. There's no other way. I see you. You see me. And uh, that's what um, the twin flame is, is, is all about. But it's, it's intense. And, you know, just a full cup is more than enough. You know, just a full cup is more than enough. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. You don't want a half cup that's, that someone's cup is half empty. You know, and you have to pour and pour and pour your energy in. You know, to f to make it a full cup. You know, that's that's uh, a full cup, a full cup. Okay, so uh, yeah, they're they're guarded and connected by angels. So uh, you know, by the ancestors. It's it's just faded. Can't make anything else out of it. Well, guys, this was the reading for you. And if you are uh, in that space and, you know, Divine Masculine, um, I hope you, um, you will react on this and how, where you are at the moment. And I see so many beautiful things for the Masculine, you know. Um, uh, let's see if I can have a message for the Divine Masculine channeled. Um, I hear it's the final countdown from Europe. It's the final countdown. So it could be that, um, you know, you're really counting now up till the days till, um, or you can go in union with your divine feminine or that you, um, you know, uh, taking it a step further than, than, than what's going on now. So there's a lot of love, a lot of passion, um, a lot of uh, energy. 
uh, if your divine masculine needs some emotional redraw, you know, give him time, give him space, because then he's uh, a lot of masculines are also going through those uh, times uh, that they are recuperating, that they need to do the work on themselves and, um, you know, um, need to be there for themselves. And there is nobody else who can help them in, in, that, in that piece, you know. So uh, give it uh, give it time, give it space, and uh, you know from the island of Avalon, I wish you all the love and all the blessings, and um, I hope uh, this energy will go on for uh, for the whole summer. <laughs> what I feel, you know, uh, I feel myself let it go on for a while because we're on this on this huge wave, you know, it's climbing and climbing to a huge wave and um, waves also crash down onto the uh, onto the island or to the to the um, uh, to the land and then you know you get the fertility between the land and the and the sea the ocean and 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 the land and then you know the merging is there you know and get a new co-creation out of it so I hope all you will do well. And um, if you want a private reading for me, uh, for your masculine, you know, I can channel your divine masculine's energy. And, um, you know, let me know. I have two slots left for next week because uh, I'm going on a um, um, crop circle hunt. So uh, I wish you all the best. And um, let me know next month, the, this month, End of the month, uh, the, uh, the 26th, there is a retreat, um, a men retreat. So if there is Divine Masculine who wants a retreat, uh, wants to get in balance with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine within, uh, who wants to receive the codes of the Divine Masculine, uh, wants to receive the star codes, then I'm available, so uh, let me know if you're interested and I will send you the info. It will be in the description box below. And uh, have a great time and I wish you all this. Bye-bye. <laughs>